Hi Gemini, welcome to your January 19th to January 31st Astro Real reading. You know how it goes, these readings are timeless and signless, so you don't have to actually have any Gemini placements or to be watching this when I'm putting it out. If it resonates with you, then hey, it's for you. Also, if you like to have personal work done along with me, uh, such as energy readings, you know, intuitive readings, uh, energy healing sessions or mentoring sessions, all of that wonderful stuff is on my website. And don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that jazz. <laughs> Let's jump right in. So I do want to let you know, Gemini, that you're looking really afraid right now. <laughs> so it's, I have to deliver this. It feels like Big Daddy is coming back to town. So some of you may actually be getting in touch with your father soon or a father figure, some type of authority figure. This person feels very very heavy and in fact you Gemini are, ma are vibing as masculine so you don't actually have to ha uh, be a male bodied person you can just have a masculine energy now I'm seeing this masculine here representing you and father energy like cloud heavy father energy coming in one minute 11 seconds like mm, right and you're shivering in your boots so who is this that has you shivering in your boots I have, to, I have to tell you that this card flew out and totally blew away these cards a bit. And I have to say that I'm feeling past lifetime energy. Some of you may really have some past lifetime digs with this person. And there's a mercenary energy. It's almost like this person was the head of maybe some type of organization that you worked for and you were a mercenary for them. I'm talking back in the day, right? But this is the dynamic for some of you for reals, reals. But this is representing the dynamic. And so you may have been a hitman in this person's organization. In this day and age, I really wouldn't be surprised if this was your actual father or if this is your boss this is somebody who appears to be very unempathetic cold you know to that effect it to the point that we shot straight to your inner child and you're shaking a bit look at you hiding behind that shell shell wow i was gonna say shield but shell it's like you go so far into yourself that you become like a child in this person's presence this is this is not fun two minutes 22 seconds so much so that you may actually step into very misogynistic behaviors because this card flew right out and blew both of these lovely ladies um mother mary god bless and green tara god bless almost off the table and when i looked at the cards it said strength but what i'm seeing is this is you this little boar currying favor with this outlaw who is this energy gemini i don't know if i like them hanging out with you i don't know because it makes me kind of feel uncomfortable what is this it's almost like any woman coming into this energy with you you don't again you could be a woman yourself but you're vibing super masculine baby <laughs> masculine hiding baby three levels deep right from big daddy because big daddy's here now um and it's like here i am as a as a very feminine person here trying to read these cards and i can't even go one two three four i have to go deeper inside to get it and you're vibing like the kind of guy this aspect of you is like if somebody gentle or sensitive or feminine or whatever came into your space um, whether they're male or female or gender non-conforming it's almost like when this presence is around your whole demeanor changes i'm not gonna lie you kind of turn into an ass sorry you know you know this is the energy i'm getting it's like a jerk bully oh god i'm sorry i'm just gonna say all the words that because i'm just reading the energy fuck boy you know fuck you don't ever talk to me i'm i'm big you know i'm a big man it's like you turn into this like dog so to speak and and so i don't know i'm sorry i'm not trying to call you guys that but you know i am translating the energy so <laughs> if you want to pretend it's not me <laughs> that's fine or if it is you and you want to own it and you're like oh and or if it's really like i actually don't feel like this part is for me that could be the case or maybe you could reflect a little bit more god bless but it's almost like you switch into a whole different demeanor whenever this person's around and it's not you and that's why we saw the shell energy so let's see what's going on justice is coming to roost i feel that you have done a lot of things in the name of this kind of energy four minutes 44 seconds the angels are keeping their eyes on it meaning that we see it and not like hey man we see it we see what you're doing but i do see but to let you know we see everything god bless right and they do guys they see too much right 
But you see this justice card? Spirit is saying that there is still time to change your behavior in whatever area of life this is. If this message is for you, then please do take it seriously. If it's not for you, then, you know, like how we roll, get your cupcakes, your cookies, your cake. We're, we're all just watching at this point, right? But there is justice that needs to occur. So you're being asked to think deeply about some things that you're doing currently in your life and to acknowledge that you're in an energy, you're in a behavior, in a conduct, in a way of seeing things, a way of putting yourself forward, a way of using and wielding your energy in the world in a way that is not good. Okay? And you know, the fact that I'm being so absolutist, you know, they're coming through, right? Um, it's not good and they want you to rub your hands off of something here and i do have to tell you the justice card being here they're showing that there are some uh there are some things that you did in this world under this energy for which you will have to be accountable at the end of the day guys karma is ours to balance if we do it in the if we, no matter what we do in the name of religion in the name of national security in the name of nationalism in the name of the family in the name of you know my city in the name of my football team whatever this is you do it you do it and it kind of doesn't matter like who's telling you to do it whatever right this is your job right and so this is the warning here please be mindful and i suspect that maybe they may just use this video to talk to people in general about certain areas in their life it may not you may not have to be a gemini placement here so there is something coming up they're saying there's a little bit of some a karmic reward coming in for you as for everybody for some good behavior see see this prince of cups coming in with uh, love so you're going to be getting you know because karmic adjustments are being made karmic things are being delivered but spirit is so fair about it that you could be receiving money you could be getting a, a, a what did they say uh, karmic you can get a reward and a debt at the same time <laughs> and then they just balance it out like the irs right like you owe this but we also owe you this and so therefore you get this right and you always hope that you owe you know less than they owe you so that you can actually get most of what you want back but the accounts are being settled and so they're saying they're bringing this up because some of you are going to be really affected in the family space in the home space i love how they did that for some reason it's energy stuff there's going to be yeah what you what you've given Given out is going to be what you receive in return all right and so they're kind of preparing you to make uh, the best of whatever it is whatever time you have left on this planet to really keep that in mind look at this look at you looking out right three of wands and waiting but listen we all have karmic stuff that we're going to have to face but you know the beautiful thing is hey i'd rather get that in i knew this card would come out it's it looked me in the face like two times as i was shuffling um it's better to uh get this information now from our spirit guides rather than on the other side from our spirit guides when they're like hey life review time you're like dang oh man it's like, tell me now so I can get my dang and my oh man out of the way now and then start making remedies, okay? Now, this is very, be, be mindful, this making remedies is not about trying to buy your way into heaven because that, you know, that's not how we roll. You know, you, you still have to go home and, and agreements have to be made and this and that. And you may not even start working on those agreements until two lifetimes later. It's up to you, right? So it's just, yeah, it's up to you, choices. I'm feeling that whatever this is, Spirit has, yeah, look at the messenger is, was here already. Spirit has m probably issued many warnings to you along the way, many heads ups to you along the way, right? Um, but, you know, as with everything, choices. As with everything, there are choices. We reap what we sow, right? If they're like, hey, you got to start making bowls so that you can eat in. But you're like, no, I want to use my molt, my molten, you know, my molten uh, rocks here to make these cute little decorative items. Now it's time to eat. You have no bowls, right? And so it's kind of like it's just a logical thing, two and two together. And now this bear is going out. He needed bowls. He's got one big star. And it's like, okay, you created this in your life. 
but what use is it to you now and this is where this is the grief this is where this is coming in so in gemini yep same water see how the ace of swords is coming up gemini they're saying it's time to listen it's time to listen we have the wounded warrior here you could see the wounded warrior who's like ready to just give it all up or you could see Custer's last stand this man is not trying to back down whatever you see here spirit is like it's time for you to choose to listen because they they do look like they're coming through a little strong because I feel a little badly for coming coming this hard but I understand that I'm also channeling seven of pentacles literally reaping what you sow okay so gems god bless your buttons uh whoever this is for the guides are warning it's actually coming through as an angelic message to be honest because i'm seeing more angelic energy here now it's like a heads up like hey um <laughs> i always make them talk like that hey um we just want to let you know that uh you know think of this as a little bit of a life review midlife review whatever we you know we think maybe you should 11 11 11 minutes 11 seconds we think maybe you should consider changing some of your ways because you've done yay yeah, you've done you've done some work we see but what you've created for yourself is not very useful to you right now so we wonder are you ready to hang it up are you ready to collaborate with us work together we're here you know here's our business card if you want to connect 11 minutes 33 seconds and of course if you like to connect with your spirit team and you um you you want someone else to facilitate look at that three three pieces right there one two three right one two three i think there's another three under there it's collaboration it's an invitation to work together they're like one two three right so anyway god bless you guys if you have any questions and you you know or you'd like to work personally with me feel free to reach out you know exactly where to find me but if you also resonate with some of the other readings please do go ahead and check those out and again this is not the end of the road everybody and their mother could possibly use this same message okay but if this reading resonates with you right now then you are getting a very nice happy divine heads up like hey 12 minutes 21 seconds just letting you know so you can have some time to make make a wise use of the time you left here the time you have left here on earth okay all right god bless you and have a blessed week bye Mwah.